Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the Write Checks window to quickly write checks and then apply the amount to one or more expense accounts. If the payment that you are making doesn't involve invoices or inventory items, then this is simply the easiest payment method to use. You can access this window by selecting Tasks from the menu bar and then choosing the Write Checks command. Now you can use this window to pay non-invoice bills or to write checks to vendors that don't have vendor IDs. It is basically a simplified version of the Payments window that allows you to enter check information without having to enter line item distributions. You start by entering the vendor ID of the vendor that's being paid into the vendor ID field. Note that if you are paying a vendor without an ID, then you can leave this field blank and simply type the name of the vendor into the Pay to the Order of field. You can also enter in the address information for the vendor if they are not in your vendor list using the Pay to the Order of fields as well. Now if you plan on printing this check, then leave the check number field blank. Otherwise, fill in the check number of the check that you wrote to the vendor. Then enter the date that the check was created in the date field. Next, you'll enter the amount of the check into the dollars field. Enter the account number from which the check will draw its funds by using the cash account field. Then enter the account that you will expense the payment to by using the expense account field. Now if you need to split the expense between multiple accounts, then you can click the split button. This will open up the split transaction window. In this window, you can split the value of the check between multiple expense accounts. You will simply click OK in this window to return to the check when you're finished. Note that you can also finish by entering a description of the payment into the description field if desired. Starting in Peachtree 2006, you can make payments electronically by selecting the Electronic Payment checkbox in the upper left corner of this window. You will notice that when you do this, that the check number changes to say electronic and becomes grayed out. When you click the Save button, if you have not yet enrolled in the Peachtree Bill Pay service, you will be prompted to do so by clicking the Enroll button. If you have already enrolled, but have not yet activated the service, click the Activate button and follow the steps presented to you. Now once you're finished with the Write Checks window, you can click the Save button to save it, and of course you can click the Print button to print the check and assign it a check number if needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.